Hi, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space, and I thought I'd do a bit of a fun video. What's in Alexis's Easter basket? So I don't actually have an Easter basket for her as such. So cue the good old laundry basket. I know I'm terrible, mother. Um, plus I bought a big stuff which wouldn't fit in a little basket anyway. So I'm going to wrap this in some decorative paper, and then wrap some of the things and put them in, and then display it. I might take a photo when I've done it all and tack it at the end. It's a bit hard with my camera set up. So I'll go through what I got Alexis. Um, in my family we don't give a lot during the year. We sort of give a lot Easter, Christmas, birthday. And Alexis' Christmas and birthday are both in December, nine days apart, which makes it difficult to give her anything any other time of the year. And I'm sort of a person that will buy... Most of this I bought for Easter, but I will pick up things during the year and then put all sorts, lots of little things out and I did find some things in my secret stash. I call it my secret stash that I'll show you. First thing I got her was one of these cushions. Now she's been admiring these cushions that, I don't know, it's very shiny. If you play with the sequins, you can move them and they move a different way. And funny story, we were in Spotlight the other day, she saw a little notebook with the sequins on it and I said, oh, we'll get to after Easter, honey. Oh, I really want it, Mum. Alexis will wait till after Easter. Mum, why do we have to wait till after Easter? So I had this big full-on conversation with Alexis because I had her a cushion in the same thing and I couldn't tell her. And the friend I was, the other friend I was with knew I'd bought her one and was walking around the corner smirking at me. So Alexis ended up with this little notebook and it was only about an A5 for Australians, about an A5 notebook, probably 10 by 15 centimeters and she sat there and she's drawn letters in it and she sits there and plays with it for ages so she's going to get a kick out of this cushion um so she needs another cushion as well that was from the reject shop um might do all the reject shop first another thing i got from the reject shop i was throwing something crafty so this is a probably a basic for alexis but i thought she'd like a dream catcher to make um i can't remember what that cost but it was from the reject shop i think it was only four bucks or something um so i thought she'd have fun making a dream catcher um, so we'll put that in there. What else? That was it from the reject shop, actually. The rest of this come from... Oh, this is from Coles. I bought some of these for jelly printing, and Alexa spied them, and I thought she'd be too old for them. Um, but she spied them and said, oh, I'll have fun painting those, so I'll throw in a set of the sun catchers. Even though she's getting this on Easter Monday, she can do it in the holidays. These were from Kmart. The rest of this stuff's from Kmart. So... Sorry, just got distracted by my phone. These are, these are only two dollars, egg shape highlighters with different faces on them. So I thought I should get a kick out of those. I like to buy lots of little weird stuff. The other thing I got from Kmart was a standing bunny light. These are only five dollars. Um, so this is a big gold bunny. She does have another one I bought her for Christmas, which is a cloud. And I believe she has another one. And they've got the marquee lights on them. Um... So I bought her that. This will make an awesome album too. I wonder if she'll let me have the box. Maybe. Maybe I'll put it in the basket without the box. I would probably need batteries for it, which are two double A's. Oops. I don't think we have double A batteries, so I'll have to go and get her some double A batteries. But I thought for five bucks, that's really, really cool. It does look like it has a few scratches on it, but... Oh, it does now. Oh, well, we might paint it. Might touch it up with some gold paint, so I got her that. They'll be sold out now. I got these a few weeks ago, so I can't go and exchange it. The other thing I got her from Kmart is Easter bonbons. She loves popping crackers. And I sort of like the images on it. So these were $2 for a pack of eight. So I ended up getting a one, two, three. So we'll sit there and crack all these crackers and pull the jokes out and the stickers and as well. Sorry, I'm just throwing these in the basket behind me. Um, so the other thing I got, this is chocolate. I thought she'd have some fun with this. This is from Kmart. And it's a unicorn. It says, find a unicorn chocolate dig. So they were $5. And apparently there's a white unicorn hiding in a layer of chocolate. So you get some little tools that you apparently have to wash first. And then you dig out the unicorn and eat the chocolate. So I thought that was fun. And then she does like boy things. So I got her the dinosaur as well. I love the unicorn box. I actually went back when I was with Alexis and grabbed another unicorn box because I thought, what's the chance of she giving the box to me? 
with Alexis, Buckley's a nun, so I didn't really like the dinosaur box, so I told her a little fib and told her I was buying it for someone else, but I was actually buying it for me. <laughs> uh, so I got chocolate excavation kit as well, so I thought that'd be fun. I might get her to do one of those on video, that'd be fun, at her hacking away at chocolate. Um, we got some clothes from Kmart. I scored on some clothes actually, these are all down to $2. So we got a black t-shirt with a panther on it. So some of these might be a little bit big because I did go bigger sizes, but she will grow into them. And when they're $2, I sort of grab them when I can. So I got her a nice pink shirt. This one was $12 down to $2. Can't even get these at the op shop for $2. Usually I put a bit more on them, but I thought that was kind of cute. Little shirt with the flowers on it. And neatly fold these up. What's this one? This was again two dollars. It says be yourself. Now this one's a bit big. It was size 16 and she's only in a probably a oh, shirt probably a 10 to 12 but I thought she might wear it for a night shirt or it'll go in the cupboard and she'll grow into it. Sometimes she likes to wear things around the house that are big and and fashionable. Okay so then we got her another shirt. Or I got her another shirt that says happy this one's a pink one, it's size 12, so I only went for 10s and 12s, which is about her size. Problem is, she needs a length that doesn't need the width. She's a bean pole, Miss Alexis. Then I got her a pair of pyjamas. Now I'm hoping she likes them, because look what it's got on it. I purposely bought them because it's got a bunny on it, and then look at the pants. They've got bunnies on them. So these weren't actually reduced, these were $12, but I thought for a pair of pyjamas, that was pretty, oh 14, sorry, $14. And I think I got the right size. She might have to try those on. If I could buy different pants and different shirts, other than in the set, it'd work well. I'll show you the books in a minute, because I found those when I was cleaning. Um, so I got her a little Easter Bunny, this was $2 from Safeway. And I got her a jar. Now I do have to add to this um, pile, I do need to buy her a few Easter eggs which I haven't got to yet, and it's now Easter Sunday night. She's not coming home till tomorrow afternoon, Easter Monday, so I just got to go out and buy her a few more eggies and things, because I just forgot today. Um, and I'm actually going to fill this jar with... I'm going to be a bit cheeky. I know. She was supposed to come home Sunday night, so April Fool's, it would have been really, really good. But I'm going to fill this jar with about three punnets of cherry tomatoes. Now, Alexis loves cherry tomatoes, and we'll buy, we'll buy a punnet of them, or a little container of them, and she'll sit there and eat the entire lot. I don't even get a look in. So I thought for April Fool's for Easter. But then she's not coming home till she's staying at her dad's for an extra night. Which is not a problem. But it just buggered up my plans of giving her tomatoes. So I'm still going to do it. I'm going to go and buy three packets of cherry tomatoes. And they should fit in there. So she'll have a jar of cherry tomatoes to eat. And then I found these books in my stash. I've obviously bought them a few years ago and lost them. But she'll get some maths books as well. Alexis loves doing these books, has loved them from ever since she's three or four. She could, she was stickering them and stuff. So the human body, it's more getting more difficult to buy them now and to find them reasonably priced. These ones I must have paid $4.95 for, which is quite reasonable. Knowing me, I probably would have paid half that. They might have been on special again. But these are 8 to 10, 9 to 11 and 8 to 10. And we might go through a few of these and look, there's a bunny on that one. Um, in the holidays with her just to brush her up on her maths but she loves doing these kind of books um, actually bought her one of the Naplan books the other day and or the other year I think I bought it last year and she was doing grade four and she wanted a grade five one and I thought oh yeah it was only five or six ducks I thought if she can't do it she'll wait another couple of years she was doing grade five Naplan books with maths books so she's quite good on her maths so she'll fly through these but I must have bought these a few oh she's going to fly through this I must have bought these a couple of years ago and put them aside and lost them I tend to do that when I buy throughout the year I now have to have a specific spot to put things but that is what's in Alexis's Easter basket apart from the cherry tomatoes I have to go and buy and then I'll just get her a bag of little eggs or a little bunny or something to go with it um, she's going to get that much chocolate from everyone else. She got chocolate from a school friend. She got chocolate from school. She got she'll get chocolate from her dad. So um, we'll have and she'll probably eat half my chocolate she bought me. So she probably doesn't need that much chocolate. But if I when I do it up, I'll remember to take a couple of photos and show you the finished basket. And that's what's in my daughter's Easter basket. And I apologise, it's going up after Easter, but it might give you some ideas for a ten-year-old for next year. Because if I put this up before Easter, Alexis would 
watches our videos because it's our channel and she would um, know what I'm putting in her Easter basket. Wouldn't be a surprise. Bye for now.